And I want to say thank you all for coming out this afternoon because guess what? You all could have been a lot of other places doing a whole lot of other things, couldn't you? But this is where you need to be. This is where, why we are so excited to have you out because we need to engage the community more so on this level so that we can make some of the differences in some of these statistics that you put up. Look at the employment they talk about. Double digits in hours, not 12%, try about 30%. We gotta start making a change and guess what? We can make a change. We can make a change by getting involved. We can make a change by having different choices that we need. We have to make different choices. And I look at a lot of things that we talk about in our community so much. We know more about other people's lives than where our plan is for our own success. We talk about Jay-Z, the ball players and all of that. Guess what? You need to know more about where your life is going than theirs. Theirs has already been done. They put the work in and they've gotten results. Now we're going to show you how you can do the same for yourself. And this is, it doesn't make a difference what you're trying to go, where you're trying to go, who you're trying to be, who you want to become. But guess what? There's a way to get there for it. Bring it up. We're going to, we're going to talk about the five steps to success that comes through this program. Let's look at it. It says what? We got to assess ourselves. Assess yourself. Do we, anybody know what that means? Assess yourself? It means kind of like you got to apply yourself and use what you got to really, to really get through what you need to do. Mm -hmm. So I'm just going off, you know. What That's part of it. Like. That's part of it. That's part of it. Yes. Find your strengths, your weaknesses, what you love to do. Assess yourself. Assess yourself. Yeah. Think of it like when you're writing the paper. You're brainstorming what all you know about you. You're just laying it out. Did you hear what he said? Think about writing the paper and you're asking yourself. You want to open up and assess yourself and say, what are my strengths? What are my weaknesses? Isn't that something that you hear a lot of time when you go to the jobs? Mm -hmm. Isn't that a lot of time if you're a business owner here, some of the things you say, you say, what's the strength of my market? What's the weakness in my market? It's no different than you ask yourself. Yes? Um, find out the pros and cons to yourself and plan for yourself. You heard that? Find out the pros and cons for yourself. Because a lot of times we won't ask those questions. But you know who we need to ask them from? The people that are around us that we know are going to tell us not what we want to hear, they're going to tell you the truth. They're going to say, no, Xavier, mm -mm, you're always late, dog. We can't, you, you're late. You can't do that. Why do you want these truths to be unearthed before you? Why do you want them to be unearthed? So you can try to make improvement while you got the time. He said, like what? Make improvements. That's why you assess yourself. Because if you haven't looked at where you are, where you're going, and what you're doing, and the way the world sees you, because a lot of times it's really different from what we're thinking in our own minds. So we assess ourselves so that we can make changes to guess what? To make progress. Because that's what we have to be about in our community now, because guess what? We got enough excuses, we got enough complaints, now we got to make progress, okay? So assessing ourselves is asking all the questions about ourselves, who we are. Did he just talk about what? He had to go take his sons all the way across the country to find out where he was from. You got the internet. You got family. You got something you can go, even if you got to go back and ask some people in your family that you know and say, hey, where are we from? But you got to be engaged in that part. You have to take the action. All of these things that we're talking about mean absolutely zero if you don't take the first step and start engaging. You're here, guess what? Your action has already gotten you started. Assessing yourself. So are we clear about how, what questions can we ask ourselves? Am I good at speaking? Am I good at writing? Am I good at listening? Am I good at video games? How many of you young men here are good at video games? Well, do you know they pay people every year to assess how the new games come out? You know they pay them to play video games. Didn't he just say what Confucius said? If you find something you like to do and you're good at it, guess what? You'll feel like, man, I don't even need that check. I'm taking a check from these folks and I, I do this for free. So find what your strengths are. Find what you like. Once you do that, we're going to go to the next, the next one. And it says what? Set goals. Set goals. 
Set goals. And understand, you want your goals to be doable. You want your goals to be realistic. He talked about earlier, he said what? He wanted that seven bedroom house. He wanted seven women in each room. <laughs> Not a realistic goal, is it? We have to look at our strength and our weaknesses to find out what? What it is that we do. Yes. And I, and I think it's also should be you got to find out what's realistic for you. For you. Because you can't go off of, oh, he did it, I can. He, he did off. it, I can. It's just like right now. They talked about, you heard of Stoudemire on there? Y'all know Shaq the time, right? What did he say? Shaq's retired. Seven foot one. How many up in here going to grow up and be seven foot one? Shaq was 6'8 at 14. He was 6'8 at 14. Everybody's not going to be seven foot one. It's not going to happen. And just what he said, Shaq standing there, I'm not moving for 19 years. So we have to look at also, what did he say? Where our paths are going. What are we trying to follow? What's good about us? What are some things we can improve on? Man, I hate getting up in the morning. Guess what? That may mean you have to set three alarm clocks. You watch your cell phone, the clock on the wall, get your butt up, make it to wherever you got to go. First of all, set those goals. Start with the ones that you know you can do. If you know you need to be home at night, go home. <laughs> Why? You know people telling you, just like he said, what is it that? You either doing this, doing that what, or you out of the street. Go home. Get out of these situations. Set goals and say, I'm going to choose to be with somebody else different that's doing different things in their lives. That's who you have to be around. Go to these things and say, hey, I need to make contact with people there who I may be interested in the movie business. I met my mentee right here in this program. Am I right, Ms. Barnes? What does he want to do? Movies. What do we talk about? Movies. What do we do? Movies. Life skills first. Life skills. Because, yeah, he can be interested in that, but guess what? If he can't make it to a meeting on time, he's not going to get with no clients with me. It's not going to happen. I don't care how much you desire. You can't show up on time. Forget it, dude. You people that's interested in music. If you don't understand the contracts, you're going to be just like Mike Tyson. Made almost $400 million right in the time I'm in. I'm broke. I'm broke. $400 million? And you broke because you couldn't read? Because you didn't understand that business is business. And our people got to understand business ain't a lot of time because people like you. They got, they, a lot of time they make the best deals because what is business? And if you think it ain't, it's just out there for us, they got San Francisco 49ers got rid of a four-time Super Bowl champion. He did not retire. Joe Montana. Many of you, some of you remember. Now, what is that about? Oh, they should be loyal to you. They moved him out because it was what? It was business. And they loved Joe Montana. So understand, the world does not have to like you. You have to learn and get the skill in whatever it is you do. You do that by setting your goals. And some of you all have to get more education. Some of it may not just be going to a tech school because why? You have higher and lofty goals in there. That's fine. You have to put the work in. You have to make changes in your life. You're going to have to set those goals and do the one thing we didn't talk about. What well, I did see it up here. He said accountable. We got to be accountable to those goals. We got to be accountable to our families. We got to be accountable to people when we say we're going to be somewhere, be there. When we're going to bring something, bring it. Do something, do it. Start being irresponsible. Start being accountable because guess what? It's interesting about people. They love showing up for work late. No joke is late. They the first one there on time for that check. Mm -hmm. And I, I really want to change in this country to say, hey, you get your check the same way you came to work. Late. I think a lot of folks will be on time, don't y'all? <laughs> mm -hmm. We have got to stop that in our community. We have got to stop it and say, you know what? We are going to have to be on time. If you know what? If I'm having to be an hour late ride, hour early riding the bus, get up. Get there an hour early. So what? It happens. But you know what? They'll look at you and you'll start changing everything around you. Everybody connected to you. Because you know what they'll say? Hey, he said what he, he did. He said he was going to do. He said he was going to get some information about such and such. He brought it. He said he was going to stop by and pick up some coats over there. He brought it. He said he was going to make some calls for us. He did it. Because guess what, team? None of these goals that you set 
what happens if you don't get involved and take the action and make it do it? And let's look at these goals. We talk about, let's have SMART goals. Does anybody say, what are SMART goals? What are SMART goals? Think about SMART goals. We got it up. First thing is, what are you going to do specific? That's the S in SMART. Specific. Does anybody understand what specific means? We, we, we all together, right? That means what? Exactly. A very definitive thing that you want to do, which is normally that question I like to say is a, when I may have people to execute to produce, I ask them what? That's the what. Being specific is your specific what. What are you going to do? You got to tell people, I want to do this. Then what? Measurable. How do you measure your goals you have out there? How you get it done? In other words, you say, okay, now, we've got this, we want to lose what? 100 pounds. We want to lose 20 pounds. That's a specific goal. How are you going to get there? Did I get the 100 pounds? I measured. Then what? Is it attainable? That seven bedroom house. Right now, is that attainable for a lot of us in here? Huh? Huh? I wish. So what? We got to have a goal that's attainable. And I tell you, start with the small things you want to make changes in your life. Because guess what? When you start to make small progress, you can start to deal with the ones that seem to be a little bit more difficult. If you haven't had a chance to be educated and you dropped out of school or whatever, you go back, guess what? I know one thing that's hurting a lot of us. We don't read. We don't read. And I'm going to tell you, that builds a lot of frustration up in our community. Because why? You're asked to read a lot of things. We don't read. So guess what? Start being attainable. Even if it says what? I got to get on the computer with the six-year-old that does it and read along with him, sneak in there at night and do what you got to do. But guess what? Make the goals that you set attainable. And then they have to be relevant goals for that. You, can, you, can, you can't decide that what? I want to do it, but it's honestly not helping you in the big picture of things. These goals have to be very relevant and to the point in what you do. Meaning what? You gotta assess it and say, hey, wait a minute, I need to learn how to read. Hey, wait a minute, I need to get a driver's license. Hey, wait a minute, I need are these things relevant for me to make a better change in myself for my family? Yes. Well, you know what? I'm gonna get off the video games for, you know, instead of 12, I'm gonna do 10 hours. Is that relevant? You may have to cut video games out altogether. If it ain't helping you read or accomplish the main goals, it's gonna help you help your family. Cut it down to 10 hours, you got to be a little bit more relevant than that. It's got to make sense for it. You've got to see it. Any questions so far? Then we're going to get to time. Our biggest one. What did, he, what did Mario make people say when you get to be 30? Plus, you out of time for that ball playing the rapper. And believe me, you'll get to 30 before you know it. You'll get to be 30 before you know it. And if you haven't gotten a lot of life skills to help you get out of there and survive, you're going to be very upset. You're going to be very frustrated, even jealous. Because you're going to be seeing people who did stay in school, who did decide to make changes, who did put the video games down, who did make some smart goals for themselves, and they did it in a time frame. Like I said, you know that you got to call and say, hey, I need you to come over here and talk to somebody about a music video. They told me 10 o'clock. What time do y'all think I'm showing up? Nine. Mm. Nine, nine, by 9.45 is the latest, and I'm, and I'm nervous about that. Mm. Why? Because one thing about time, I tell you. Can't get it back. Who's the richest person we know right now on the planet? Warren Buffett. We'll say Warren Buffett, we'll say Bill Gates. <laughs> Even with their money, guess what they cannot give you? Time. They cannot give you time. So don't play with people's time. Be attentive. Do what you're supposed to do. Set a time frame, especially with yourself. Because you know what? When you start to put things in a time perspective, you'll seem to have more time. Because guess how many hours Bill Gates got in his day? How many hours did he got? He got 24. Well, guess what? How many, how many hours you got? 24. He got the same hours. He didn't say I'm going to do, yes, yes. 